The phrase too much of a good thing usually arouses a little bit of suspicion and well, we kind of steer away from it. We don't want to have any repercussions. Again, the orchid hobby has that exception. There is no such thing as too much of a good thing when it comes to orchids. Welcome to this update on Dendrobium tortile within the Care Collab series. It's good to have you here. I appreciate your time very, very much. Just as much as I appreciate all the channels that are participating, thank you also for your time and joining me on an update of Dendrobium tortile. In my case and other channels will be showcasing their tortile for the first time. But <laughs> thank you for joining me because look, Oh, I am so happy to be able to do this together with other channels. I would have featured this tortilla this year as well, again, anyway, because how can you not? Look at this beautiful, beautiful blooming. What a show it is this year. And honestly, I stopped counting after I counted 35 blooms. At least that's what I thought I counted. And then I got cross-eyed. I tried to start again. Forget it. Who cares? Lots and lots of blooms. And that is what I wanted to show you, share with you. Because not only does she look gorgeous, but it's such a curly, whirly, messy kind of gorgeous. The petals and sepals are all over the place. There's no real rhyme or reason. Even though the orchid lives in my south facing covered portico all year round. So I don't move her even while she's in bud. And well, she opens her blooms the way she wants to, and it just looks messy, but there is a certain order to it. Somehow it works. Totally, totally charmed by these blooms every year. <laughs> so yeah, but let me just tell you that for the first time ever, I have had issues with pests. And I'm not including ants as the definition of pests. They use this orchid regularly as a jungle gym, so I'm used to that. Thankfully, they're not bringing any aphids along with them, but for the first time ever, I have had scale on this orchid that I've really, really had to monitor. Nothing that garlic alcohol can't take care of, but still, that is a surprise to me that I have seen scale on the bloom spikes right along the peduncles as well. And it was a bit concerning to say the least. We have it under control. I haven't seen any scales since a couple of weeks now, but still, now that I know that this orchid might attract scale, and of course she has a pendant growth habit, so there are orchids underneath her, which are also being closely monitored now due to the fact that Madam above here has had scale. But other than that, she lives her life there in the corner on her rack because she has now increased so much in size she leans towards us pretty much I have had to wire her pot to the stand so that no wind knocks her over as has happened two winters ago where I broke and smashed some of these beautiful canes here so that's damage from the winter of 20 to 21 don't want to repeat that even though she is on the stand I get some serious serious wind in and around my patio this orchid as you can see is leaning towards the light as she should be so the pot can very easily uh, go this way i also have four new growths already starting i would like to get another two that would be great i won't protest about four but i would like to have six that would make me happy we've got four on the go and today she's getting a fertilizer soak just fertilizer and normally I just fill the reservoir with the fertilizer solution at a concentration of 300 parts per million seeing as she is in active growth now but because I've perched her up here for the sake of filming I have filled the reservoir with water just in case she would decide to topple over at least this gives the pot some weight quick change of angle because my goodness these blooms need to be in the sun but when the reservoir has been completely absorbed I flush the pot through twice with plain RO water and refill it with 300 parts per million it is go time it is grow time besides I would like these blooms to last as long as possible usually I get three weeks out of my dendrobium tortilla blooms but if it decides to heat up exponentially then they will frazzle relatively quickly including hot dry winds well that'll just take them out super fast so far they've been open 10 days and they've already exuded their gorgeous rose fragrance it is very very faint there's nothing obvious about it but it is there and I don't have to get really close to this orchid to recognize that it's there 
the zygopetalum that lives next to her has the cinnamon and then the tortilla is very obvious with the rose fragrance so it's not like the zygo is overpowering this rose fragrance but it is a very delicate and beautifully elegant fragrance and i'm enjoying it very very much i did have one deformed bloom on a cane that is three years old because the canes that are blooming this time around mainly are from two seasons ago but i've also got blooms this time around on canes that had matured and grown three seasons ago so that's a first for me and that is why we're getting a much more abundant display and what a show it is anyway I have one deformed bloom on one of the very old canes but on that very same cane I have another bloom that is perfectly fine so I'm putting down the fact that this one bloom is deformed because of the volatile and radical temperature changes that we had a couple of weeks ago it started to warm up nicely that bud was already showing color and when it opened it got super super cold again now this orchid of course as i mentioned lives outside in my climate all year round where it can get down to five degrees celsius and it just tolerates that but when the temperatures are that low there are no buds forming so hey it was a little bit of a dicey moment for me when i recognized that the temperatures would drop again and a bud was showing color i was hoping it wasn't going to take out my entire bloom show and it didn't very very grateful for that i don't mess much with this orchid she is up there in her rack during the winter she gets the direct sunlight because of the angle of the sun and during the summer she is in bright bright shade because of the angle of the sun so her corner up there is permanent she is in her leka and self-watering setup which is working out beautifully i couldn't maintain the health of this orchid while she was on a mount i have very little humidity to speak of and then adding those hot dry winds that i mentioned well it was just i just couldn't keep up as the orchid was growing her needs were getting more demanding quite rightly so that's what we want from our orchids but i needed a setup that would match her needs and well she loves leka and self-watering and it is one of the easiest ways to take care of this orchid without messing around too much this is the most sunlight she has had in the last six weeks again the angle of the sun is super super high so she's already been in bright shade but it is surprising how light and lime green the leaves are even though she doesn't get a lick of direct sun where she lives totally normal no deficiency not bothered if my new growth were to start showing some funky signs then i would be concerned but these leaves are going to drop off anyway so they're just going through their process of doing what they do it'll take another year for them to fall off but the senescing has started even though it is a very very long process with a dendrobium tortile i have no intention of dividing this orchid she is going to be in that pot indefinitely there's plenty of space in there the water is gargling there is bubbles there's oxygen in there everything is fine so i'm very pleased to say that we can have another season of dendrobium tortile dealer not getting harassed by me and that is why i want two more growths i'm not settling for four i know that i have to because who am i going to say i'm not settling for four i want two more but you know the size of this orchid she warrants two more growths that would be awesome because then next year we're going to get all these other canes to bloom right here plus some straggler nodes from the canes that are blooming this year and well i have six new canes for next year i want six new canes for 2024 <laughs> greedy much <laughs> So this is my update first time pest issues with regards to scale now i know other than that super orchid love her and love her all over the place curly whirly funky kind of bloom display that shouldn't make any sense at all but it does really appreciate your time watching thank you so very very much have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition though that you please stay safe and take care bye